In left bundle branch block or ventricular paced rhythm, EKG shows broad QRS complex, greater than 120 milliseconds. Left precordial leads show deep and broad S wave, that may be notched and resemble the letter W. Leads V5 and V6 show broad clumsy and notched R wave, resemble the letter M. In left bundle branch block, there is appropriate discordance as abnormal ventricular depolarization is followed by abnormal repolarization. This means in leads with positive QRS complex, ST segment depressions and T wave inversions can be observed. Similarly, in leads with negative QRS complex, ST segment elevations with positive T waves can be observed. ST segment deviation does not necessarily indicate ischemia. It can occur even in the absence of myocardial ischemia. Therefore, the diagnosis of myocardial infarction in left bundle branch block can be difficult. In 1996, Dr. Elena Sagarbasa developed and validated a clinical prediction rule to diagnose myocardial infarction in the setting of left bundle branch block. The original scoring system, commonly known as Sagarbasa criteria, includes three criteria. Concordant ST segment elevation at least 1 mm, in any leads with a positive QRS complex, scores 5. Concordant ST depression at least 1 mm in leads V1, V2 or V3 scores 3 an excessively discordant ST elevation at least 5 mm, in a lead with a negative QRS complex scores 2. A total score of 3 or more points has 90% specificity for ST elevation myocardial infarction, but sensitivity is only 36%. Smith modified Sagarbasa criteria has been introduced in 2012 to improve diagnostic accuracy for occlusion myocardial infarction in left bundle branch block. The first two criteria are straightforward and same as the original criteria. Concordant ST segment elevation at least 1 mm in any leads with a positive QRS complex, and concordant ST segment depression at least 1 mm in any of V1 to V3. The significant change is the modification of the rule for excessive discordance. The use of a 5 mm cutoff for excessive discordance was non-specific. The third criterion is revised, excessive discordant ST elevation in any lead, at least 1 mm, and has an amplitude at least 25% the depth of the preceding S wave. To measure ST to S ratio, Measure the amplitude of the R or S wave, whichever is the most prominent, in ST segments. The ratio of ST to S is calculated for each lead that has a discordant ST deviation of at least 1 mm. For example, in this figure there is a small R wave and prominent S wave. The depth of S wave is 10 mm, and ST segment elevation is 3 mm. ST to S ratio is 0.3, which meets the third criterion. In this figure, the amplitude of notched R wave is 10 mm, and ST segment depression measures 3.5 mm. Therefore, the ratio of ST to S is 0.35, which also fulfill the third criterion. The presence of at least one of the three criteria has a 99% specificity and 80% sensitivity in diagnosis of acute myocardial infarction in the context of known left bundle branch block. In patient with suspected acute myocardial infarction and left bundle branch block, the Sagarbasa criteria are very useful, due to high specificity and positive predictive value. If none of these criteria are met, the diagnosis of STEMI cannot be established. Then the patient should be further evaluated with serial EKGs, serial-specific biomarker assays, and bedside echocardiography. I hope you enjoy this video. Thank you for watching this video. Stay safe and healthy.